So, I've wanted to do this for a while now, and today's the day we start it. Slow Cooker Sunday starts now. From here on out, or until you guys get sick of them, I'll be making a new slow cooker recipe every single Sunday. If you don't have yourself one of these yet, it's time to buy one. Today we take oatmeal to the next level with this super easy slow cooker banana bread protein oatmeal recipe. It only takes a couple minutes to prep and it's gonna change your morning routine. So let's just jump right into it. Start this one off with a little tip. If you hate cleaning up your slow cooker after you meal prep, use one of these liners. Should be able to find them locally and they're usually pretty cheap. I'll link them below too. Now add into your slow cooker two cups steel cut oats, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, two ripe bananas either broken up or you can mash them before you add them in, two tablespoons of a sweetener, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of chia seeds, four scoops of Labrata Nutrition's 100% whey vanilla protein powder or chocolate for a chocolate banana taste, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of melted butter, four cups of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and four cups of water. Mix everything together while mashing in your banana if you didn't pre-mash it, then throw your lid on and cook it for around nine to 10 hours on high. Be prepared for your whole house to smell delicious during this time, which is also great to wake up to if you throw this on before bed. Once done, let it cool and then portion it out however you want it. I usually make five servings and each serving is around 450 grams. As for the taste, it's like a banana bread, banana pie combo with just the right amount of sweetness. Oh, and you can eat this cold like I am right now or reheat it in the microwave for a minute or two with a little extra milk if it's too thick. I always top mine with some crushed up pecans and extra banana slices too. Other than that, I want you guys to start using the hashtag slow cooker Sunday when you make these so I can feature you. Every so often I'll choose my favorite picks and we'll do something unique for those people. I think that's it. Let's end this. With that, thank you guys for watching. If you're stoked for this whole slow cooker Sunday thing, show me some love by smacking that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below with what you'd like to see next week breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, stay healthy. Oh, and also follow me at The Protein Chef on social media because I'll be posting shorter versions of these slow cooker Sundays on there as well.